everyone. This is Ricky Grove, Managing Editor at Renderosity.com, and this is News of the Week for February 27th through March 6th, 2021. And in Renderosity.com news, the Poser Pulse Showcase, selections from February's Poser Gallery. Based on this selection, we're happy to present some of the best artwork posted to the Poser Gallery this month. We hope you enjoy it. Every day, new free stuff is posted at Renderosity. We've chosen the four most recent posts, and boy, are they great. Because members are so generous, there's always good free stuff to be found. Make sure you check the link. And our Gallery of the Week is the Home Gallery. You guessed it, this gallery focuses on the theme of home. You'll find architecture, interiors, furniture, and character scenes in the home. We love this small but potent gallery. Enjoy the Gallery of the Week video, too. And in Renderosity Magazine news, Retarget Actor Core Motions in Maya by M.D. McCallum. This week we'll look at retargeting in Maya and see if it really is as easy as it seems to be. While he's used Maya in the past, he hasn't used it for much more than file manipulation on shared project assets. So not being an everyday user of Maya, he wants to see if he can get through retargeting without increasing his vocabulary. Let's see how he does. Make sure you follow the link to learn more. Houdini Engine for Unreal Engine 4 and Houdini Engine for Unity are now available for commercial customers for free. This now gives commercial artists and studios the ability to widely deploy procedural assets created in Houdini to UE4 and Unity real-time 3D platforms for use in-game and the XR development, virtual production, and design visualizations. Xsense Labs redraws the rules on digital tablets for creative professionals. The new company is founded by a group of experienced creative design professionals with a shared passion for designing a new class of digital drawing tools. Xsense Labs, pronounced Sense, merges the ideas of human senses, innovation, and the laboratory approach to experimentation and progressive product development. Follow this link to see what they're doing. And that's our news this week. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.